I was born and raised in rural area of Sumatra Island in Indonesia, where human and animal live close together in the same place and the same environments. My people work hard for their livelihood. Most of them are farmers. They really depend on the animal for companionship and especially for production. I've seen that animal diseases really affect not only the animals but also the people in my community. I truly understand the suffering that farmers feel when the animal dies. The animals are precious assets to them. I work as a veterinary officer, providing animal health services and helping farmers to better understand how to treat their animals. When avian influenza came to the island of Sumatra, I experienced firsthand how fast the disease could spread. It has killed many birds in poultry flocks in my province. I had to work fast in diagnosing, implementing control movement protocols, and culling as part of the response efforts during the outbreaks. Efforts also included community center approaches, such as training people to vaccinate their own poultry. Avian influenza was not the only animal health challenge in my community. I also work with dogs, which are important companions animals, used both for hunting and escort animals. Unfortunately, rabies threatens the dogs and people in my community. I personally saw that many dogs and multiple people die from rabies. Educating people about the disease is challenging. Many people believe that vaccinated dogs are no longer useful for hunting. However, I managed to convince some people to help me fight the disease. Now I am pursuing the preventive veterinary medicine program at UC Davis because I believe that working locally and globally to improve animal health can also enhance human health. As a vet, I want to improve the quality and efficiency of local service delivery and promote sustainable development programming at local level to prevent spreading disease globally and the most important thing is to create smile for future generations.